chances are that if you have looked anywhere on the internet that relates to rumors, scoops, and what's going to be happening in the future of Marvel Studios, that you have seen reports that Andrew Garfield is signed on to return as the Amazing Spider-Man in multiple projects, one of these being the upcoming Spider-Man 4. Well now, Andrew Garfield tackles these claims directly. So this is Andrew Garfield being very PR savvy, if you will. But remember, most people will quickly point out the whole werewolf scenario. I'm not in it. I'm not the werewolf. There's nothing to see here. Move along. I don't even know how those screenshots leak because they're not fake. They're AI. Yeah, it was all real, right? So people don't trust him. Either way, though, recently when talking about the future of Spider-Man 4 and whether or not he is going to be returning and just point blank ask, hey, are you in this film? Because that's what the internet is saying. And last time you denied it, he said, and I quote, I mean, the internet is a big place. I think there's a lot of people who just want to say anything to get clicks. So you might have been duped, I'm afraid, end quote. Okay, I'll get back to that for a second. But if you guys remember um, last year when Andrew Garfield was in a film with Florence Pugh, who of course is in Thunderbolts, he was also doing a round of press interviews and talking about how he had such a great time working with Toby and Tom. And that that revitalized his love for Spider-Man. And that if there was ever a time he would come back, it would be for more sequels to continue the story. But also, he would love to come back for another team-up film. And with rumors persisting that Sony is dead set on making the next Spider-Man another multiverse film, I think it only makes sense, quite honestly. But now back on the front of... People are just making stuff up, which is true, you know? Uh, people are always making stuff up. Back in the day, do you guys remember Movie Pilot? The internet was convinced that Jared Leto, his version of Joker, was the Red Hood Jason Todd. I mean, it happens all the time, right? Or how people were super disappointed when Tony Stark's Iron Man, at the end of Iron Man 3, didn't fly off into space because... That's what was going to happen. He was going to be a member of the Guardians, just like the comics. Because that hashtag show reported it. Or, you know, Daniel RPK and uh, I think it was MCU Cosmic reporting, Nope, the next film is Avengers Annihilation. And then it never was. You know, like, scoops and reports are always just that. And that's all you can really get from it. So, do I fully trust Andrew? No. But do I trust that he's telling the truth here? Yes. 